Summer Series, Part 5. Hello and welcome to the Ignite Youth Podcast here at Wayne Fleet BIC Church, where we discuss life through the lens of our Anabaptist roots. My name is Julie Adams and I'm joined by Pastor Wes Hollis. Hi, Hi Pastor it Wes. It feels like it's been a little while since we've been on the podcast. I was thinking the same thing. So sometimes <clears throat> what we'll do if we've got a busy week yeah. is we'll pre-record a couple and then release them a bit later. And uh, if you attend or around, you'll know that last week was VBS. Yep. And that is like... It's probably our cra- it's the craziest oh, time of the year. Yeah. Um, and the then with most that, fun, without a doubt. Oh, yeah. But also <clears throat> super crazy. Yeah, it's like it doesn't really stop at VBS. Like during no. that week, like you're always doing something. So a lot of the regular things that we end up doing, we have to push kind of to the side. Yeah. And with that as well, I had bronchitis before that. Oh, yeah. And so I was like out for two weeks, pretty much out for two weeks, yeah. then had VBS. Now we're back on schedule and we're getting things going again. But yeah, so yeah, it's been a little while since I've been on the podcast. Yeah. But you guys have been treated with intern Emerson and he's going to yes. keep coming back on the podcast um, through our summer series and that. But yeah, yeah. also you're going to have to deal with me clear my throat because bronchitis does not go away quickly. No, it lingers. It's lingering, mm-hmm. Pastor Wes. Mm-hmm. It's lingering. Always oh, lingering. You can hear it in my voice when I talk. Yeah. yeah. You're a little bit uh, <clears throat> froggy. Yep. Froggy. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so today we are talking about free will. Ah. Now, here at Wayne Fleet and within the BIC denomination, um, which our church is a part of, free will is something that we believe in. It, it's something that we we see from the beginning of creation, um, that when God created Adam and Eve within, you know, creating them within his image, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> there's the point of being able to choose. Yes. And we see that in the garden, especially, you know, with choosing to eat the apple or choosing mm-hmm. to to do that and obviously it leaves leads humanity down path and we can see through scripture how people choose and do things and so free will is something that we believe and we believe it's something that is a part of our lives today um <clears throat> and there are some that don't believe in free yes. will. is that right yes yeah. there's there's kind of two variating points there's free will and there's called predestination mm-hmm and so predestination believes that things are predestined um and that, so like god has already chosen yep god has already chosen the choices you make in your life have already been predestined everything like that and where we on the other side believe in free will and there's a really good way um i think we say it as a denomination and it says um we understand from scripture that god grants humanity the freedom of choice God also knows the, the um, that his wisdom and grace is working out his eternal purposes within human history. So even the choices that we make, God is still working within mm-hmm. the world. And still the will that he wants to, on the world is still being able to happen. And so it's kind of saying that the choices we make on a grand scheme of things don't necessarily always affect God, which... He's, you know, God. He's yeah. the creator of the universe. And that's why our little choices don't always affect. <clears throat> but it is saying that that even though the choices we make, God is still implementing his will onto the world and, and what he wants to actually happen. Because God knows, because he is omniscient and all-powerful and omnipresent, <clears throat> he knows end to beginning, beginning to end. He knows what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So even though this is where it it can get confusing in our yeah. heads god's will is implemented over the world and we are still able to choose and to do different things and come into relationship with god and so w- even with all that we still have god's will around us and so we're still making our own choices and own mm-hmm. free will god's will is just overlapping with that and so <clears throat> i think that's kind of an easier way to describe it it can be a little complicated yeah but part of why we're talking about free will is why do we have it? What's yeah. the point of it? Um, because, you know, if God, if like we look into our world today and we see the choices people make and we're kind of like, <laughs> really the best choices? Like why, why, like when we kind of, there's been, I, talk, I was talking with Emerson and we were on Instagram because we were looking for like a, an idea for something and we both saw something. We're like, why did God give us free will? Really? Like, like, <laughs> was this the best choice this person could like really like, and the thing is 
with that, I think sometimes we can question, you know, why would God give us free will? Like we, like people have made terrible choices, terrible yeah. mistakes, like that have had huge implications onto the world. We've had the freedom to be really awful <clears throat> to each exactly. other. Exactly. Yeah. And so, with that, um, we're going to talk about why there is free will. What is the purpose of it? And where does our relationship with Jesus come into all of this? Mm -hmm. And so I think to start, the reason why we have free will, the fact that we're created in the image of God, we're we're separate from the rest of creation. We mm -hmm. actually have a, this this sense of actually being able to choose good and evil. <clears throat> and now that might sound weird to say like, oh, we have the chance to choose evil. Like, what do we do with that? Well, it's actually to be able to resist the evil and be able to choose good. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, that is what God wants of us. And ultimately, we're human beings and we make mistakes. <clears throat> I'm really trying not. To, I'm like. <sighs> Coffee I feel is like wonderful. we need like a water bottle or something for you. Just water. splash me with water constantly. Um, <laughs> and so the fact is that within each person that was created, the fact that we can choose good or evil to obey or disobey, the freedom of choice makes us responsible for our decisions and our choices. <clears throat> and we have to deal with our consequences. Mm -hmm. And so part of the reason I think that God has given us free will is because he's not, we, when we look through scripture, God is not someone who is like, <clears throat> how do I say? Like if we, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going to say it in a different way. If we didn't have the ability to choose, everyone was just predestined and that's how things were. All those who were going to come into relationship with Jesus were already predestined. There really isn't a point. And it kind of feels more like what's really the point of any of this? Well, I think my question <clears throat> would be more like, why wouldn't, why would God create people and then not it's choose them? It's almost like them? a little bit like robot. Well, robots but why wouldn't of. God choose some people? Why, what makes Yeah, them... exactly. And we don't see that within scripture, but from God's yeah. character, we don't see that. Yeah. We see the God of love and compassion who wants all to come to know him. Yeah. And I think in that wording is really important, wants all to come to know him. There's a sense of that we can choose to either enter into relationship with God or not. Mm -hmm. And the fact is, in a relationship, the choice and free will to enter into one gives it a completely deeper sense and meaning than if it was just like, well, I'm meant to, like, I just, I have to go into this. Mm -hmm. Whereas the fact that we get to choose to have this intimate relationship with Jesus, I think it deepens our connection to God. It shows the love and compassion that he has for mm -hmm. us to trust that we actually will enter into this relationship. Maybe not everyone, mm -hmm. I, I, and we can see throughout history, not everyone does. But the fact that we can, I think is something that's really important. God gives us the choice to enter so into this relationship. we all have the same opportunity. Yes, I think we all have the same opportunity. Most of us, I would say, have the same opportunity. But there are people in the world who have never read the Bible, have never heard the name of Jesus, who live on islands, who have never heard this. And so a lot of people ask the question then, like when I was in Bible college, I asked the question, well, with free will, what about this? Be those people that have never a had a chance question. to heard the hear of Jesus, and I say it, and I had a professor say, God can reveal himself to people in many ways. The fact is that if we look at biblical times, we're like, well, God revealed himself then, God can still reveal himself now to people mm -hmm. in ways. We hear about it in Arab countries where people get visions of Jesus and come yep. to know him. <clears throat> and so I think we have to believe that even people on islands and who don't know, who have never had a Bible, can still have a relationship with God. They may just not know who it actually actually is. <clears throat> and because the fact of the matter is, and I really like saying this point, is are we really going to limit God to that small of an aspect that he can't do that, that he can't reveal himself, mm. that those people on these islands and these places who have never even read the Bible can't come to know him because God can reveal himself. God is powerful enough to to walk through people's lives. Yeah. And so I think that... <clears throat> It's really important for us to understand to realize that we have free will yes but god is still active and at work in our lives today and could reveal himself and can do things that we can't even imagine mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so when it comes to that question of you know what what about these people on these islands or these things i say god is powerful enough to go in to make these people known and to come and enter and to invite them to enter into this relationship mm -hmm. Wes, <clears throat> did yes. people in the Old Testament have free will as well? Yep. Yep. I, we, we can see Adam and Eve with free will. Yep. Um, Cain and Abel, free will. So we can see all throughout history that there is free will within Scripture. 
So why, there are a few times in the Old Testament where it says things like, God hardened Pharaoh's heart. Hmm. God yeah. hardened their heart. Is God taking away free will temporarily? No, I don't think so. I think that, because so, we talked about how God's will is implemented onto the world mm -hmm. and, and, and things. And so I think God is doing actions that are the result of things being able to happen for greater good. Like the fact that Pharaoh's heart was hardened in a way so that the Israeli people actually can be able to leave, mm -hmm. that the slavery and occupation would end. <clears throat> and the Old Testament, a lot of people say, well, it's hard to relate the Old Testament to the New Testament because you see almost two different characteristics of God, which I say, no, we actually see the same characteristics of God. It's his love and compassion and leading his people through and caring and loving mm -hmm. for his people. And so <clears throat> when it comes to Pharaoh and his heart being hardened, I think that Pharaoh has his own free will and choices um, and has the ability to make those. And the fact is that the choices he was making was leading down the path of his heart being hardened because <clears throat> he had plenty of moments and examples where things could have went differently. Mm -hmm. I think we could also look at the example of Jonah and the Ninevites. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Jonah is someone who is a prophet who gets told by God, you need to go do this. And yeah. he's like, not happening. Like, yeah. go watch VeggieTales. It's a great representation yeah. of it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but with that, when he gets to the Ninevites, who he has such a predetermined idea of who they are. Yes. Which he's he's not wrong. The Ninevites were harsh people. Yeah. They they were hurtful if they were they they were bad. Oh, like they, evil. They're yeah. kind of evil. Completely turn and choose to follow what Jonah says and choose to obey God. Yeah. The choice there was in the people to be like, this guy's what he's saying is right and we need to worship this God and actually mm -hmm. repent and actually do this. And so I think there's another great example of the fact of God actually saying this is what's going to happen and people being like okay well actually let's enter into relationship with you and so <clears throat> i think that for all of us in our world today especially in canada like in in niagara and wayne fleet <clears throat> we have this opportunity to enter in this relationship like we just had vbs yes <clears throat> and when we're talking with the kids and we're sharing bible stories or when you're doing arts and craft and you're yeah. still sharing the bible stories through all of these <clears throat> the fact is we offer and invite the kids to enter into this relationship. And I think that right there proves the choice, the free will that we have, because even a child who doesn't always fully understand things or who can fully understand things has the mind and the heart to actually sit there and say, no, I actually want to be with God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I think there's a beautiful part to that. I think it's absolutely a beautiful part to it. Yeah. And so for all of us, I think, Free will is one of the things that is a gift from God mm -hmm. because we can choose to enter into a relationship with the creator of the universe. We can choose to soak in his presence and to really go after him. And sometimes we don't always make the best choices and we have to deal mm -hmm. with those consequences. But the fact is God lets us learn and to grow as people through our free will when we do make mistakes. <clears throat> and so I think that in our world today, I think free will, when we talk about free will, it's actually meant to kind of maybe us per pe perk our ears up. Okay. That's the word. <laughs> <clears throat> perk our ears up because I think we should realize that the choices that we make in our world today have implications. Mm -hmm. They have implications on us. And I think that for all of us, no matter where we are at, to focus in our relationship with Jesus, to choose to actually enter in. And here's the craziest thing is I think there's this idea that once you enter in a relationship with Jesus, okay, things are great, you're good. But to choose frequently, like to keep entering into this relationship, mm -hmm. to keep like every new day to pursue to back. pursue yeah. and to enter into this. Um and so I want to challenge those who are listening and those who are watching that no matter where you're at, even if you're like, I'm in a great place with God, to keep choosing to enter in, like even mm -hmm. right now, to choose to enter into this relationship, to go deeper with God. Um it's a beautiful thing that we can do. And I just want to challenge everyone to kind of do that. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Is that <clears throat> your closing thought? It is. Anything else to wrap nope, up? No, nothing. Perfect. Thanks, Pastor Wes. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you'd like to get in touch with Pastor Wes, you've still got the opportunity yeah. for a few more fun youth events through the summer. Oh, yeah. Lots of good stuff coming up. Um, yeah. So send yeah. him an email at Wes at WayneFleetBIC.com or check them out on Instagram. Their stuff is on there, too, that you can yeah. see. 
Um, how else? Just I guess your email list is probably yeah, the best. Yeah, email list is probably the best the to get the, you can see on Instagram when events are coming up and yeah. Yeah, so follow along and yeah. Um, yeah. So Wes at WayneFleetBIC.com. My email address is Julie at WayneFleetBIC.com and we look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.